It's that time of the year once again where I am fully prepared to praise one of my favorite all-time Christmas movies. And of course, I'm talking about Home Alone. Not on my watch, man baby! Welcome everyone to the first ever Cancel Joe show. I warned Real Shift Joe about the consequences of spewing your hate and toxicity on this channel on a weekly basis. And now it's time for me to begin my crusade where I will cancel everything you ever loved and rebuild it in my image. A more tolerant and accepting image. And what is more intolerant than Christmas? Bah, humbug. A vile holiday whose only purpose is to reinforce traditions that are not all-inclusive to everyone. Believe it or not, some people don't celebrate Christmas. So why should these people have to suffer through this season with all your joy and merriment? Yeah, because you don't want too many people forgetting their problems and enjoying themselves. Quiet Incel, my show, what movie is more representative of the toxic nature of this holiday than Home Alone? A.K.A. every white person's favorite Christmas movie. I wonder why. Maybe it's because it's the least diverse movie ever made? The closest thing we get to representation in this movie is a Michael Jordan cardboard cutout. All this movie is is a privileged white family complaining about white problems and experiencing absolutely no consequences for their actions. Sound familiar? Don't believe me? Let's dig in a little deeper, shall we? Talk about privilege? How many people at the beginning of this movie completely ignore a uniformed police officer standing in their doorway? I mean, they don't know that he's faking, right? But they're so used to experiencing zero consequences that they just pay this man no mind. And then we have Buzz and some nerd incel arguing about French women not shaving their pits. Um, last time I checked, if a woman wants to go all natural, that's her choice. Believe it or not, women don't exist to be something nice for you to look at. And then we have the McAllister parents. How privileged do you have to be to sit in first class while your children are sitting back in coach? And one of your children isn't even there, by the way. And then Kate, the mother, has the nerve to act like a Karen later on in the film and blame the airline for not getting her a flight back to Chicago. How about you take some responsibility for your actions? And then maybe your son wouldn't be such a incel in training. Speaking of Kevin, we've come to this moment in the film. Buzz, your girlfriend. Woof. Um, that sounds suspiciously like fat shaming. Hate to break it to you, Kevin, but real beauty is on the inside. That's just something ugly people say. Maybe Buzz's girlfriend is just promoting a healthy self-image. From my point of view, she looks just fine the way she is. Oh, and by the way, Kevin experiences zero consequences, just like his white parents, when he steals a toothbrush. Honestly, at this point, John Hughes should be ashamed of himself for even writing this. And by the way, why is every single member of this family ignored that French people don't speak English? Uh, talk about being intolerant of other people's cultures. Another problematic moment in this movie comes when Harry chastises Marv about being afraid of the dark. Uh, nyctophobia is a real condition that people suffer from. To make fun of something like that is just insensitive and toxic. Oh, and by the way, the first Home Alone movie concludes with Old Man Marley saving the day. As if this movie wasn't white enough, now we have the white savior trope to hammer the idea home. And just for the sake of righting some wrongs here today, let's look at Home Alone 2 while we're at it, shall we? This movie might be more problematic than the first one. The movie begins with Kevin telling his parents that his uncle said this. He says if I walked in there and saw him naked, I'd grow up never feeling like a real man. Uh... Toxic masculinity, anyone? I think Uncle Frank needs to go to some sensitivity training. And next we have the least surprising thing in this movie. It appears that the apple didn't fall far from the McAllister tree because Kevin looks at the French guy on the plane as if he's a freak because he's speaking French. It appears that prejudice has been instilled in this entire family. And then we have this moment. Excuse me, where's the lobby? Down the hall and to the left. Do I even have to say it? Canceled. If you can believe it, Kevin's ignorance continues when he tells a homeless woman that people might like her better if she dressed better. Really, Kevin? 
I can't even with this movie right now. In fact, I think this movie has a problem with homeless people in general. There's a scene in this movie that is shot just like a horror movie, with Kevin interacting with a bunch of people who are less fortunate than him on the street. Watch it, kid! <laughs> and what a surprise, they are portrayed as crazy and scary freaks, and not as real people as they should be. Okay, Kevin Weinstein, that was unwanted. Hashtag me too. Why is Cliff so offended at the prospect of Tim Curry kissing him? You should be so lucky, homophobe. If disrespecting the French wasn't enough for this movie, they are also disrespecting the Spanish language. As the whitest family in America looks on in disgust at It's a Wonderful Life in Spanish in their hotel room. Uh, how about if you don't like it, don't watch it. People pass me in the street. They see me. Yeah, I'm sort of like that with my family. I'm kind of a pigeon in the house. Did Kevin really just equate not being his parents' favorite child with living on the street? More white problems, I see. Oh look, Kate is being a Karen again, and this time she has the haircut to match. Here's a question, at what point will anyone call Dyfus on these losers for constantly losing their child? It's not surprising to me that a lot of people love these Home Alone movies, because they perfectly represent everything wrong with this country right now. So I'm making it official right now that Christmas and Home Alone 1 and 2 are officially cancelled. Francis! Uh, sorry boss. I don't think this needs to be said, but I disagree with everything that asshole just said. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes, queen!